So if you search for Cisco subnetting game in any search browser, then we see here this binary game that we're going to go ahead and open up in a new link. And this is pretty cool for anyone that's ever struggled with subnetting or really wanted to find a better way of studying than flashcards or just writing things down. Then you can see here, pretty cool thing that we got um, with folks uh, sharing their score. And if we click on play this game and look at the instructions, there's basically two types of challenges, the binary puzzles that are going to pop up and the decimal puzzles that we're going to show here very shortly and basically seeing it will explain it a bit better. So if we play the game, then what we really have here is our play area, different rows here and our little timeline or cheat sheet at the bottom. Um, for those that have uh, started subnetting, we know we draw those blank spots and uh, go away. And so this is my very first time playing this game. And as we can see here, uh, we either need to, we're going to be given the binary here. And we, of course, need to enter what that decimal equivalent is. Or for those that we can click on and click off to basically uh, get the correct uh, decimal number there. So uh, pretty much a great way challenge. And like I said, uh, this is my first time playing and we're going to see here very shortly uh, a little test thing. But the score here, as we can see, is a pretty cool thing if you're into games and trying to reach the top level or basically challenge yourself either or as we clear the board. You can see kind of Tetris style. We don't want to allow uh, these various options to basically reach the top and, you know, just go along. And this definitely, definitely helps uh, any level a person to subnet. And like I said, so we'll see here very shortly. I said, eh, how can you lose really if you've got that cheat timeline down there? And uh, like I said, this is playing through level one, um, just getting used to what's there. And like I said, pretty self-explanatory after you get it underneath your feet. But this here is fast forwarding um, basically to level three. And when I got here, like I said, when you complete this one, this is where the uh, snafu and those low scores can come into play. You see that little blue cheat sheet timeline that I call it when we're practicing, studying, or even teaching a uh, subnetting styles. I actually get this warning that, you know, it's going to be deactivated and go away. And as you can see, no numbers down there. And I didn't write anything down. I'm a little bit puzzled here um, to basically tell myself where's the 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, et cetera, all the way up to 128. So you'll see me kind of trying to count in my head here to come up with these. And I didn't pause and try to draw on the screen or anything. Um, just basically freestyle this. So you definitely could have whatever method if you're going to draw on a screen, a piece of paper or whatever to kind of fill in those blue spots as to what you had there right in front of you from levels one to level two, you know, but like I said, first time playing this and just wanted to challenge myself and uh, see how I could do with just going off the, the membrane up here and uh, thinking about uh, what what it actually is. And you'll see here very shortly that it kind of started to get the best of me. But like I said, I'll uh, let you see the rest of this. We got um, not too long left, like I said, about another uh, minute or two of me before I get to that Tetra style <laughs> that all of you may know um, on that puzzle. But like I said, I had a lot, a lot of fun playing this one and encourage any of you out there, like I said, that are studying and are struggling with subnetting or if you just, you know, you, you don't have any problems with subnetting, just wanted to give this challenge a try. I would encourage you to try to play it without writing anything down. Like I said, I know you're going to reach level three and uh, just to see how you do. And like I said, had a had a good time. You can see me here hopping along with the mouse, trying to uh, basically double with our um, base two type of binary of trying to figure this one out <laughs> almost to the top and uh, this one like I said was it's pretty cool you get the little warning there a little sound effect so pretty cool like if you get zoned in and things like that so cyber security you know try hack me and those different sites like that they have a lot of gamification on their side but this one thing that I noticed 
um, kind of a gap on the networking side. There's really not a lot of gamification that I've seen for, I won't say networking concepts or tools or, you know, software and concepts that we have here on our side. But this is my first time seeing it. And I know it's probably been out there for a while, but like I said, just wanted to share this uh, with any of my audience that may just want to give this a try. And like I said, maybe you'll bookmark this and uh, share with your friends or if you're studying uh, CCNA or anything like that and think that this can help. Um, I really think it does. Even if you take your time there on level one and two uh, to understand it. But it, like anything, repetition, putting in those hours is where uh, this really gets um, helping out for these complex type subnets. So uh, like I said, again, had a lot, a lot of fun here. And we got probably about less than 20 seconds here before this spells doom for me. Kind of got caught up there. You can see I've left those bottom three down there for for a while. Uh, counting left to right, I know 128, 64, and 32. But yeah, the crunch time got me. I didn't want to spend that much time on those. And so... Here we go. Almost there. Yeah, struggled here miserably. <laughs> All right, I think this one right here and next one probably does it for me. But like I said, I just want to thank each and every one of you out there again for rocking here with me today. And like I said, give this one a try. Shout down below in the comments what you thought. And like I said, love each and every one of you. But until next time, stay safe. Take care of yourselves and peace.